Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing white with red and weighed in at 11 stone, one pound. Hailing from Bow East London, he has a professional record of two wins and one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Rod Douglas Jr. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing burgundy with gold and weighed in the same as his opponent, 11 stone, one pound. Hailing from Ilford, London, he is undefeated with six wins. Two of his six wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Hamza Shiraz. Okay, lads, when I say stop, you stop boxing. When I say break, take a step back. Keep your hands up, protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you both. Big ticket seller Hamza Shiraz, just 19 years old, and you see a very tall man for the division. Stands six foot one, a couple of inches taller than Rob Douglas Jr. Round one. Rob Douglas Sr. was an Olympian and a Commonwealth champion. Career ended back in 1989, I think it was, when he sustained bad injuries he had a head injury after a fight against Harold Graham oh good shot Shiraz good right hand first punch of the fight well, I saw I saw Rod Douglas Jr a box a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago sorry in in the York Hall and he's brave and he's tough but he does leave his chin open he does leave it high up in the air a little bit square well he got punished there Shiraz only with a couple of stoppages on his record and he's looking to get another one here Douglas is all over the place and Shiraz is looking to take him out in this opening round and he surely is doing, he landed one after he went to the ground and he's got up on his feet, Douglas, but it looks as though it's going to be all over here in this opening round, referee Lee Every having a very close look at him and now he's tending into a neutral corner and he's going to tell Shiraz about landing that punch on the ground and is he going to take a point away? No, he isn't, it's just, just the warning. Give Douglas a few extra seconds. Oh, good shot, good right hand again. And the towels come in, the towels come in, the referee hasn't seen it. The corner, Johnny Eames, experienced man, doesn't want to see any more of it. And the referee says enough is enough. And Hamza Shiraz, in the opening round, gets the spectacular win he and his fans wanted to see. That's fantastic for Shiraz, because the, the last time we saw him, obviously, he was up against a guy who was very negative. And made it hard work for him, I think, at times. But here tonight, came with a guy a little bit made for him because he stands in front of you, but a guy who came forward. But what Shiraz did do, he showed a little bit of power, and he kept, and, and also with the tall guy, you want to be on the end of those long punches. You don't want to shorten those shots. And he and he made the distance, kept the distance, turned from the waist to those nice long levers, and got him on the end of those, 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 long, those long arms, and that's where all the power is. And he finished it quite well, so it's a fantastic uh, result for him, showcases his skills. And people sit and take notice now. And you have to remember as well, Barry, he's only a kid, isn't he? I mean, 19 years old in boxing terms, he's a baby. But, but, again, the worry is that for some, it's, it's still early days and, and he'll have tougher opponents, but, a, a few more grades. But it's the exposure, he wants the exposure, he gets the exposure. But at a young age, you want to be able to hold them back as long as you possibly can. Well, let's just talk us talk us through again. Well, again, it's just nice. This is a nice long right hand. Look at that right hip turns from the waist. He brings that right hip, that right hip forward. Keeps the left foot solid on, on the ground there. Turns from the hips, turns from the waist. Look at that, right on the end of that long shot. That's where all the power is with these tall fellas, and it just been perfectly delivered. Here's the second knockdown. Oh, that's a great body shot there. They got Douglas turning round, looking for looking for an escape there, Douglas. And that's where he landed one with Douglas down, which is a little bit naughty, well, not allowed to do that. Well, to be fair, I think it's really, that's a fantastic body shot, really. Double tap to the head, left up to the body. I'm not sure if he's sure he's down, because the ropes are half holding him up. I, I, I would give him a pass on that, to be fair. But and then we move down to the third, when effectively it was all over. Yeah, it was, yeah. Douglas was already a beaten man, the referee could have stopped it earlier. It's, that's a fantastic result. And so people look at what a view this is, look at this. Fantastic! You, you, you can see you can see the full the full range. The towel came in. Johnny Eames launching that, and the referee rightly saying enough is enough. And Hamza Shiraz, his fans were down at the weigh-in yesterday, 
And one or two of them are saying, say nice things about Hamza. <laughs> Well, we can say him, because he's done the job. It was impossible not to. It was a fantastic performance from him, and, 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 he, and he got what he wanted. He got his little TV slot, and he showed what he, what, he could, what he was made of. Fantastic result for the young kid. Right, the two fighters are now, well, they're just about to be with the referee in the middle of the ring. There we go, and here's Thomas Trimer. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, ten seconds of round number one. Our referee, Lee Emery, waves off the contest as the red corner was in no condition to continue. Therefore, your winner, and still undefeated, Hamza Shiraz. So short and sweet from Hamza Shiraz. First round knockout of Rod Douglas Jr. Second defeat of his short career so far, but clearly out of his class there against the impressive Hamza Shiraz. It's just his uh, third KO. And that was his seventh professional fight. Remember, his last three fights went the distance. Uh, certainly no question that that was going to be a case here.